I want to see what happens if we simply jump off the roof. If I even can jump off the roof. We don't. <laughs> In front of Misty. <laughs> see that? No, I cannot jump off the roof. I come here when I need to get away. I cannot jump? Well, that's... Okay. Let's go with the... All the cutouts. Not unachievable these days. Take your time. Fine. Hey, Judy. I cannot oh, skip it, that's the problem. What's cracking? But I would, uh, if we're doing it, well, let's do it right. Huh? Uh, the she has a what very nice voice. Then. Amazingly. About what you sensed in me. It's yeah. cracky voice, but... High time I faced it. Can't be sure it'll work, but I gotta try. Listen, whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. But Thanks. you fucking leave me afterwards. <sighs> Come along. <laughs> fucking hell. Gonna try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just wanna be there for it. Aware. And I have the glasses because I forgot them at the workplace. See you inside, Makoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. <laughs> Go, Kaneko. How about this? Nope. Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I know, but need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent? I couldn't wait until morning. Need a way into our socket tower now. Sorry, what? <laughs> I'm serious. What the? Whole thing with Johnny. I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why our socket tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to, well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear. You've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower. Or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. I'm giving my body to Johnny actually this time. I, I mean that was my first playthrough and I found it to be probably the best outcome in the end, unfortunately. Since we cannot both survive. Or Yeah, it's me. So what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. And actually the first playthrough I had with Pan Am and I gave body to Johnny. Hmm. 
Well, I fucked something up, but okay. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child. Curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Giving Johnny the body, Sounds okay. Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely Johnny. He has one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills. Finally. Balance, friendship, love. Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Ain't that the truth. Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. Hey. Man, it's good.